Uh, just because you're afraid of something doesn't make it right or wrong. Jesus said God is a spirit. And they that worship him, not cafeteria, it's not what you choose. It's not a buffet. It's not what you take or what you like or what you don't like. But must worship him in spirit. And, of course, in, in truth. Culture and worship have a lot in common. We worship God according to what our culture dictates. And many times over the years you can be in the same place, but your acculturation process might change. The way we worship in Greenbrier today is not the way we worshiped when I got there in 1992. The complexion of the church changed. The community changed. Our worship changed. Praise God, hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My Lord. If Paul were to come to our worship service today in the United States of America, he wouldn't understand our singing process. That's not the way Paul was brought up in the church. They sang responsibly. They had chants. They had one leader that led them in one phrase of the chant and the whole church responded to that. That's completely different from what we do in the United States of America in the churches of Christ. Just because Paul would not recognize a lot of our services doesn't mean that our service is wrong. It means that there's a different time and a different culture. Let me hasten to say that uh, culture brings about change, but not in doctrine. Culture brings about change, but not in principle of scripture. Culture brings about change, but not in example of the word. Culture brings about change in people's preference and in the way they carry certain elements of the worship service out as opposed to anything else. Song leaders, some song leaders, arouse fire within us more than others. The more fire that is aroused within you, the more likely it is you're going to respond.